Welcome to part 9 of Integration by U Substitution. This is the list of formulas we're using. And here are the 15 examples that we'll finish. Each part number corresponds to the example number. So in part 9, we'll be doing example 9. Here it is. Does it look difficult? Nah, none of our examples have been difficult, right? So take a look and see whether you could choose the right formula to use. I bet you all got it. This is another one using the power rule. Let's give that a try. What's raised to the power? 1 minus cosine theta. So let's let u be 1 minus cosine theta. Next we find du. du is the derivative of u with respect to theta times d theta. We get Differentiate the constant 1, we get 0, minus. Differentiate cosine theta, we get negative sine theta. Simplify, we find that du is sine theta d theta. That looks promising, right? Our integral is now equal to the thing raised to the power is u squared. And what's the leftover part? That is simply du. We have the integral of u squared du. The power rule for integration says add 1 to the power and divide plus c all we have to do now is put 1 minus cosine theta back in for u, and we're done. See how easy that was? Okay, let's practice our differentiation again. We'll check our answer by differentiating. 1 third is a constant factor, so you just copy that down. Now we apply the power rule for differentiation. Pull down the power, subtract 1 from the power, and differentiate whatever is raised to the power. The 3's cancel. We have 1 minus cosine theta squared times the derivative of 1 minus cosine theta, which is 0 minus a minus sine theta. And there you see our integrand. All done. All right, let's try our shortcut next. Do the problem without writing in any use. Of course, we have to recognize that we're going to use the power rule. So let's write it in that format. We have the integral of 1 minus cosine theta squared. That's our u squared. Next to it, we insist on putting du. So in this oval, let's write du in there. If u is 1 minus cosine theta, du is sine theta d theta. And that's exactly what the integral is. That means we could apply the power rule. We have the integral of u squared du. Add 1 to the power and divide. We have our answer already. See how quick that was? Great. See you next time. Bye.